On Easter Monday, the church invites us to reflect on the Gospel of Matthew chapter 28 verses 5 to 15. And in these verses, there are three parts. The first is the experience of the women at the empty tomb. The women have gone to the tomb and they cannot go near because the guards have been placed to avoid any disciple of Jesus stealing the body of Jesus and then saying that he has risen. And so the guards are there, but the guards are of no consequence to a risen God in a risen Jesus. And that is why the tomb is empty. And the women notice the empty tomb, the women experience the empty tomb, and they realize that something extraordinary has happened. What? They do not know. They only know that the Lord who died and was buried in the tomb is now not present in that tomb. And yet, even though they are unaware, they know that something special has happened and so they leave the tomb with great joy. And even as this joy is in their hearts, this joy is fulfilled in the second part of the reading in which Jesus encounters them. And Jesus gives them a message that he is risen and is going before them to Galilee and to tell his disciples that he will meet them in Galilee. Jesus in his lifetime had made the promise to the disciples that he would be raised and that he would go before them to Galilee, which he does. The promise of the earthly Jesus is fulfilled by the risen Christ. And the third part is a scene that is special to the Gospel of Matthew. It is only in the Gospel of Matthew that guards are placed outside the tomb. And the reason why guards are placed outside the tomb is so that the guards can prevent any human being from trying to remove the body away from the tomb. The guards, however, realize that something more than human is present here. It is God himself who is present here. It is God himself who raises his son from the dead. And so the guards go back to those who appointed them and report what has happened. And when they report what has happened, they tell the truth. The truth is not that somebody has stolen the body, but that he has risen from the dead. However, the religious leaders will not accept even the resurrection and so they influenced the guards to tell the governor the story that his disciples had stolen the body while the guards were asleep. And they even tell the guards that if the governor takes them to task for falling asleep on duty, they will make amends and they will make sure that the guards are not punished for their lack of alertness for, for their lack of being aware of what has happened. In our own lives today, there are so many experiences of God going on around us. And like the religious leaders of the time of Jesus, we too prefer not to see them. We too prefer not to experience them. We too prefer to hide under the guise of our own lies. And the text of today is calling us to realize that our God is not a God of the dead. Our God is not a God who wants us to be dead, but like Jesus, to rise again. Each one of us has to live our lives fully and confidently in the knowledge that we have in Jesus a God who is a God of the resurrection, a God of light, a God of how will you live today to show to everyone you meet that you believe in a God who has been raised from the dead?